So let's establish first that I am terrible at leak code. Okay, I'm talking that I recently ran across questions that I have failed in interviews before, and they are leak code easies. And I was hired by Amazon. They passed me on the leak code questions because I had the correct strategy in place. Here's the concrete action plan. One, do not start by writing code. I am not exaggerating like 10% of the interview, maybe longer. I've definitely done longer myself writing zero code. Your goal is to start the interview by making sure that you and the interviewer are on the same page. You don't wanna be the person that's solving the wrong problem for half of the interview. Genuinely, I believe that the descriptions to some of these problems that you are going to see are designed in such a way that they want you to ask questions. They intentionally leave some bits vague. Is that unfair? Maybe but I think it happens. So we need to start by starting to ask questions. We write down their answers in comments like this. This goes directly into point two. Codify expected behavior with examples. In your head, some of these bits might seem pedantic. You might be like, well, I feel like I already understand the problem. I've already seen the problem. Doesn't matter do this anyway. It is effective communication and you are also scored separately on communication. You've given me some arbitrary problem. It doesn't matter. Let's say I have input of A, B, C, D, E. I'm expecting based on what you've told me about the problem so far that I'm going to get as an output F, G, H. Is that correct? Ask them. Is that correct? Is that the expected output? They give you their check mark of approval. Okay. They say, bingo, baby, you got it. Now, are you done? Maybe. Think about edge cases. What about if null comes in, right? What if I get no input? Then do I return, you know, nothing back? Confirm the expected behavior. All of these things up front because they might affect your intended path forward. All right, what was next? Acknowledge the brute force. I never thought that there was a reason to do this. I thought it was just wasting my own breath. One, I personally end up often attempting to over-optimize. And so if I acknowledge a solution that I think is slow and bad and not good enough, interviewers will guide you. They'll be like, well, why don't we try that and see how it comes out? Give the interviewer the chance to help you help yourself. I know you think of the interview process as this cold, cruel world where everyone just wants to let you suffer. No, they want you to succeed. I also feel like if I don't know everything, the interviewer will think I'm trash and then I'll die. No, no. Tons of interviewers are also bad at leak code. Source, I interview people sometimes. It's a conversation, not an interrogation. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Overcorrect. Think of it as a pair programming exercise. All of you will are not gonna like just stand there and go, okay, I don't know, you wanna take a crack at it? You're not gonna take it that literally. So just in your head, think of it as a pair programming exercise. Guys, we kind of just talked about this. I jumped the gun. <laughs> Ask for help. God, that's so stupid of me. I jumped the gun. They want to hire you for problems that are hard enough that you will not have an immediate answer to them. They want you to stretch yourself and challenge yourself and they wanna see what that process looks like. So do not be afraid to ask for help because in a professional environment, you want to do that too. If you are struggling in a professional environment, you ask for help. All right, what's last? I say all the time that I think this is the only way I ever get hired places. You should not walk into the interview with the mindset that they're looking for a code machine. You don't wanna be really good chat GPT. You wanna be a person that this person could see working alongside and enjoying that process. If you're treating it like just a casual interaction in the office, it goes a long way about them seeing you as a person that they could work with rather than candidate number 152679. Someone likes you, they're going to score you more favorably. I think everyone gets tense and turns into these little leak code robots that you're either really good at leak code or you're really bad at leak code. And that becomes the deciding factor. Take your deep breaths before the interview and try to think of it as best as you can. We all get nervous, 
but just try to think of it as a normal conversation. Thanks everyone for tuning in for this. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this advice was useful to you in some capacity. This is the type of stuff that you can fix nearly overnight. We're, uh, we're gonna call that the end of this segment. Thank you, thank you, thank you.